This is a quick look at how easy it is to do simple processing of image gathers in the new Insight 3. First, I should explain how much money you're going to be saving on storage, because Insight 3 features a ridiculous new form of compression for gathers. Here's a directory full of SegY from Geoscience Australia on the left, clocking in at almost 200 gigabytes. On the right is the same data loaded using Insight 3's new gather compression, 88% smaller. This is why one of our clients recently switched to using Insight as its data archive format, saving themselves millions of dollars on storage hardware. So now absolutely everyone can afford to look at gathers. Now let's get some work done. In my control panel, I'm going to add two volumes of data to my session, the 22 gigabytes of gathers and a velocity model. These are 2D lines, but everything I'm doing here works exactly the same with 3D. First, let's have a look at the data in the gather view. I've got it configured here to show three gathers spaced a few hundred meters apart. On a bigger display, I could look at 40 or 50 and really see a broad area all at once. Although it looks like we need some NMO correction, fortunately, this is super easy. We just go to the process tab, add a new process, normal move out. This process can do anisotropic correction, but today we'll correct with just a velocity model. That's it. If we look in the volume tab, we see the new volume, which I select here in the gather view and we get our beautifully on the fly NMO corrected gathers. Next, I think this data could stand some amplitude correction and fortunately there's a whole suite of gains in Insight 3. Today, I just want a simple time squared gain. So I choose my NMO corrected gathers, power of T, number two. Once again, I get a new volume that I can choose in the corner here. and that looks much better. Now I want to make a stack, but before that I probably want to mute. I could pick the mute by hand, but instead I'll go with an angle mute, and there are a couple of different ways to do that. Here I'm going to make one that I can see, so I can QC exactly what I'm going to get. I choose my velocity, I'll go with 45 degrees, and it appears right on the gather view. Now to make my stack, I'll select the gathers and my outer mute. And when I open up the 2D line view and select the stack volume, it applies the NMO correction, the gain, the mute, and finally does the stacking all on the fly. If I already knew exactly which angles I wanted, I could make a whole set of angle stacks in one step. That was all it took to create near, mid, far, and fools, which we can see here in the dropdown. There we go. In under three minutes, we've gone from our highly compressed money-saving gathers, applied NMO correction, gain, and angle mute, and made a full stack. All this is just one tiny piece of what's new in Insight 3.